What's Gucci y'all, Big Red back at it again in training mode to give you guys some tips and tricks to help you improve your game. Now a lot of these are for beginners, but there are a couple ones for advanced players, so stay tuned where they may help you out in the long run. To start it off, if you're one who doesn't move and loot around, or if you're prone in loot, make sure you know the idea of the right trigger looting and the left trigger looting. So as you can see here, with the right trigger you skip down five spaces to your next spot. If you're just casually using the D-pad, you will only go up and down by one slot. But if you do left trigger and right trigger, it'll put you up by five and down by five, up by five and down by five. This will be huge to help you loot quicker and faster to get out of dodge. That way you don't always have to throw down that smoke or take your sweet old time looting what you need. On to tip number two. This goes hand in hand with tip number one, but this will be really helpful for those of you who want to learn how to spray with the three times, four times, or six times. So as you can see here, we have the red dot on our main gun, and we see a man in the distance, so we want to swap scopes. If you have five things before your scope that you're switching to, it's a lot easier for you to just switch over to your inventory, right trigger down five spots, boom, you're on the scope, double click A. Make sure you have the main gun out that you want to use and put the scope on. Because if I have the arm out and I go RB and then five spots down, it's going to put the red dot on the arm and we don't want that. So you want to make sure you always have your main gun out when swapping scopes. And just like that, easy clicks, quick and fast. Now, you're not always going to have the perfect loot situation. You always want to have five things before the main scope you swap to. It's not always going to be perfect every time, but if you could remember to do that, whether it's a syringe, three boosters, first aid and a bandage, five items before your scope, it makes things that much easier to just pull up your inventory, RB, RT, double click A, boom, it's on my gun. I don't even have to look. It's all muscle memory after that. Do it again. Don't even have to look. It's going to happen every single time. Try to practice that. Try to remember to always have that because it's always going to happen. Too quick, too easy. Just make sure you have your main gun out. Easy as that. Tip number three. This one is very simple, but not a lot of people do it because we all remember the way of PUBG when it first came out. When you're running into the zone, and trying to make sure circle doesn't touch you or if you want to run a little bit quicker you put your guns away to get into the zone by holding y right we all know that concept now if you double click y it's the same thing you put your guns away and you're running to zone an easy double click sometimes you know you don't want to hold y you know there's just a little nuisance to it just a quick double click boom you're good to go on to tip number four. For those of you who have radio message off and don't use the wheel ping with the right thumbstick, then keep this in mind. When you ping where enemies are at to let your teammates know, you push the right thumbstick down, and you see the yellow mark or whatever color mark you are pointing towards the enemies on the compass to tell your teammates exactly where the enemies are. Make sure, make sure you ping where the enemies are and not the cover that's in front of you. For example, Say I see an enemy at this white tree or behind the white tree. I want to ping the white tree, be like, hey, he's behind the white tree, and then get back behind my cover. Why? Because if I ping, hey, he's behind this white tree in front of me, and then I ping it, then he, the yellow mark is going to show that it's always at this tree that's in front of me or whatever cover I'm at. After you ping this, and your teammate's hiding over here, where do they, where do they see the ping? They see the ping right here at the marked tree, okay? But if you say he's at the white tree in front of me, you ping it real quick like that, and your teammate's over here, look, look at that, would you look at that? The ping shows that it's at this white tree. Okay guys, keep that in mind, because a lot of us have this issue where we accidentally ping the cover we're at, and it really throws our teammates off guard, so make sure, make sure, please guys, I can't say this enough, it's really frustrating because it gets, People killed more often than not. Make sure you get around your cover, make the ping mark, and then hide back. 
That takes me to tip number five. We all know this one's old but gold. Swapping seats in a vehicle. You just click A and you swap seats in a vehicle. You don't have to click B to get out. You just get in and click A, it swaps right for you. It's always in the same order, no matter how often you click A or how fast you click A, it's always gonna be in the same order. So if you hop in the back right seat of any vehicle, you're gonna hop into the driver's seat of any four seater. Now, if you accidentally hop in a different seat and you wanna get into the driver's seat faster, hold A, boom, you're in the driver's seat. That slides me right into tip number six. Don't you guys hate this annoying sound when you get out of the vehicle or you're next to a vehicle and there's no way to really stop it unless you hop in, but you still wanna loop. So you don't wanna worry about this annoying vehicle sound. But maybe we drive the vehicle in a different area and then walk back to go loot the buildings we were at. Or you could just drive your vehicle and get one tire on an object, hop out, bada bing, bada boom. There is no Okay guys, we're on to tip number seven. This one is very, very tricky. So you're gonna have to pay really close attention on how I'm gonna explain this. For those people who do like to do drive-bys and know that you accidentally hopped in your vehicle with your Bolti or your DMR out and you see a perfect drive-by about to happen, but you can't get out to swap your weapons, then this is the perfect tip for you. In case you missed it, I hopped into this car with my bolt action out. Now, if I start rolling, you can't do anything about that. You know that you're gonna hop out with your arm or sniper out, whatever you have. Switch seats, it's gonna be your sniper. So, the best way to fix this without doing anything else, and you know that a drive-by is about to happen, you just simply go into your inventory, swap your gun placements, and if you switch seats for the drive-by, now you have your other weapon out. This only works if you're in the driver's seat, so keep that in mind. Now we're going to hop out, and it's going to be the arm. Every time, but it does not work if you're in the passenger seat. But that's going to be it for the tips and tricks, guys. If you have any questions about any of the tips and tricks, hit me up in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer your question or confusion, whatever it may be. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll have the link in the description below. But also right here above me is my Twitch channel. Come check me out. Come say hi if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.